Oh man, look at this. This is not even a lot. But like look at this. Like not in like we're gonna do a lot more. Look. Just look. Look, dude. Creepy creep it's just creepy. <laughs> just creepy, man. Oh man, just creepy creepy. <laughs> Oh, very creepy. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> very creepy. Oh, very creepy. Oh, dude, dude, dude. <laughs> dude, what the heck? <laughs> the one, two, three methods making us, like, see some really crazy stuff. And of course, we still got zero two going in here. Also, we got zero two also for Mario sixty four. <laughs> Mario sixty four is probably one of the craziest things with zero two also because uh, because as you know, a circle, like a circle, uh, the letter O can also be a zero, and then you got like cloth, and then you got like L in there. You always got your L in with the cloth. Then you've got, um, uh, what is it? You've always got a way to get to two. Uh, like, like there's, like there's somewhere a two around there because there's a second word to it because there's picnic. <laughs> and it doesn't help that when you uh, divide picnic, it goes into two word, uh, two ones like pick, nick, pick, nick, you know, like that kind of thing. Um, Pikmin, you know, like all kinds of stuff. I am like, gosh, dude, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, dude. <laughs> uh, the, the, the little picnic cloth, uh, little picnic cloth. That's where the cake is because, you know, it has a little uh, table ornament de decoration. Of course it does. Uh, I don't know if it's... The creepiest thing in the picture of the cake? Um, hmm. It's up there. <laughs> it's up there. I, I believe it is pretty. It, it just it just ranks out of all the creepiness in that cake picture. It's, it's pretty up there. Uh, <laughs> oh, the background. Cause mainly because uh, not just the picnic cloth itself because well the picnic cloth does have good details as you see because i was like drawing uh um it does have like these good details uh shows you like drawing techniques and all kinds of things but uh with the border just with the border you know like the border uh but we how many times have we seen this border um we've seen this border a lot we've seen it with the cages in mario 64 we've seen it with like just everything just everything like um so <sighs> creepy, <laughs> creepy, creepy, man. Uh, this is why I love this series. I love this series because I was like, already, I was like, uh, uh, Mars 64 is king, Mars 64 is king, that kind of thing. Cause it just is, it just, it's just king. Um, but, uh, <laughs> We also know all the colors in Mario 64, you know, it was a picture. Uh, um, there are some things I left out in this picture because I got to do more research on, but um, uh, <laughs> research. <laughs> oh, research, research. Uh, isn't that cool how at the bottom I put like the, the teapots, um, uh, like the valve that you know pours the liquid isn't that cool how i put that there isn't it oh i i even I came to a conclusion with the uh the top you know because there's the the top that just holds so you pour the liquid in you know it's like a pitcher <laughs> picture right pitcher right picture pitcher see i didn't even write that one down picture pitcher oh my gosh dude pictures in picture uh, yeah it's the wrong ending yeah it's the wrong ending it's always been the wrong ending and always will be it's the wrong ending yeah there's another 
there's another part to Mario 64. Uh, I got a little, I got a little frustrated that there could be another. Part. <laughs> it was like, I was like, how is there another part? There's not another part. I've seen the part. There's no way there's another part. But you know, so so the things in the picture would give you detail that there might be another thing. And um, next to zero, if you see this line weird thing that I drew, uh, that's the shadow with um, the the cups because they have this like shadow, uh, this little shadow thing. Uh, the shadow is very important. It's creepy too. Yeah, it's creepy too. Uh, it's it's very creepy. Uh, because okay, picnic cloth and the picnic cloth having some shadows on it and that. Yeah, it's creepy, 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 <laughs> yeah, creepy. Um, crazy, right? Cloth cake. I'm pretty sure we got like three C's going on. Uh, we haven't, man. We haven't even like gone to Silent Hill because Silent Hill does a three C method. Uh, but, um, you know, was, uh, which I bet you it's a three C method. I bet you. Cause, um, you got to make that face somehow. Right. So, so how are you going to make a face? You're going to need like a three C method. And I, I, I bet you, cause like silent Hill shatter memories. Uh, let me think there's a poster in silent Hill Sh shatter memories. Talk about three C's and all that. Uh, that picture is really good. Uh, that's the one of the hardest things. I wonder if that's like only on the Wii version. I I bet you it's on the PS2 and PSP version. I don't know. But I think it might only be on the Wii version. Um, where's the uh? <sighs> this is all creepy, dude. Uh, putting like. <laughs> The three C's together to make a face, okay? Um, you almost want to study all the things. Like, if you see that thing I draw also below there, I drew that below. Um, oh, my gosh, that shape right there that I drew down there. Like, uh, it doesn't even help that we have, what, Zelda Tear Tears of Kingdom with the, you know, like, the trailers and making, like, your car. <laughs> How you're, like, taking a piece of wood and the wheel. That would, that would be where your head would go, you know. But that's where they want your head to go. <laughs> well, really, this shape can do a lot of things. It can rotate continuously. It can, like, you know, make a lot of things. Walls, all kinds of things out of this little shape. Um, <laughs> that's where your head would go, you know. Like, you see, that's what I mean. That's where your head would go. Like, um perfect time just to jump into this because we gotta get it to at some point uh oh okay dude okay okay dude okay okay you know like we gotta get to this because this is like the okay dude all right all right uh skyward sword's amazing skyward sword's really good a little too good i found uh some good things in wind waker and majora's mask uh uh, some things in Ocarina of Time, but yeah, yeah, Skyward Sword is really good. It's really good. It's so much better than that crap they're calling Breath of the Wild and Tears of Kingdom. Way better. <laughs> way better. <laughs> way, way, way better. Uh, of course, they're going to give you an amiibo. You know, there's a... Come on, dude. How, how, how crazy do you think it is? It's just, it, it just is. Uh, we don't have to release uh, Tears of Kingdom. Uh, we can just, you know, put out Skyward Sword and then we could give it like new controls with the Switch Joy-Cons. We can, uh, you know, we can do all kinds of things. Add a joystick control, which is crazy. <laughs> uh, joystick controls are nuts. Uh, very nuts. Uh, different way to play it, I'm sure. Um and definitely a way of messing with your brain because you're using a joystick, you know. Uh, oh, dude. Like. Oh, the controller, man. Like, I don't even I don't even know where to begin with the Skyward Sword stuff. Like, and it's funny because the statue, the amiibo that they give you is what Princess Zelda Oh my gosh. 
statue. Uh, but everything you think about in Skyward Sword, let me let me tell you, everything you think about in Skyward Sword is pretty awesome. Like you think, like think about the cast of characters you have, right? You have Garium, you have Groose. Garium Groose, both G's, you know, tells you how a G could be a C, could be an E. <laughs> You've got Demise. You've got, man, you got so much, dude. You got way too much. You got, uh, you got even Impa. You got Impa. Uh, you got um, Time time Traveling Done Right. You got your little Temple of Time. The, one of the craziest Temple of Times. You got, uh, <laughs> you got so many insane stuff. You got, um, <laughs> that, that, that game is so evil. That game is so, so, so evil, like, evilly good. Um, uh, you got, uh, these graphics, these certain different graphics. Um, and that's kind of like where we're still with the enemy zero, but you know, there's another game that zero. Oh, what would that other game be? Oh. Oh, what would that other game be? That would be creepy. Oh, what would that be? Oh, Star Fox Zero. You know, we could even do Resident Evil Zero also. Of course, we could do Resident Evil Zero also. You know, GameCube. Ah, <laughs> creepy. <laughs> but you know, uh, Star Fox Zero, Resident Evil Zero, all all those games, man. Just just brilliant games, right? Really good games. Really, really good games, you know? Um, gee, I wonder what they're trying to say, you know? <laughs> Star, it doesn't help that Star Fox Zero just has crazy things. Um, oh, yeah, we got more of Pajama Sam. That's why I put without a hat. Uh, without a hat, because, like, without your shoes in Pajama Sam. I mean... Dude, there's a lot with Pajama Sam. Like I told you, there's like three entries. Uh, but, you know, it's like, without your shoes. Oh, here's some shoes. Here's some here's some colorful shoes in the last picture. If you could kind of read, there was colorful pictures. Yeah, th these pictures are creepy, man. Now, now we're just creepy. Now we're just like out there, dude. We are so out there. <laughs> It's nuts. Uh, it doesn't help that, you know, what can you do in Mario 64? That's right. You can lose your hat. <laughs> Gee, in pajamas, Sam talking about without shoes, but, uh, you know, in Mario 64, you can lose your hat. <laughs> Which is kind of still confusing to me because there's another thing. Oh, yeah. We're always going to have uh, Shadow of Colossus Part 2 in here. We are. We're always going to have that in here. And that's the creepy part about having, like, because we're talking... Mainly about Mario 64 secret, okay? But we're also talking about Shadow of Colossus 2 secret, okay? Because it's Shadow of Colossus 2 secret. Uh, just, just, just the ranking of like... Because everything goes together, man. And you're just not getting it. You're not, you're not getting it. Nobody's getting it. Some people are getting it. it, it uh, who knows? Who knows? Maybe somebody's getting it, but it's just... It, it's, it's, oh, it's, oh, I mean, like, what, like, Resident Evil 4 Remake? Come on, guys. Uh, Resident Evil 0, you know, like, yeah, yeah, Resident Evil 0 is better than Resident Evil 4 in every way, by the way, because Resident Evil 0 actually has puzzles. Resident Evil 4's puzzles are, are okay, but yeah, yeah, Re Resident Evil 0's puzzles, way, and then you got Resident Evil 2. What do you think of that? See, like, there's just there's, there's just too much, dude. There's too much. There's there's Resident Evil Seven with the with the tribute fence to Mario sixty four, you know. But like, there's like the two and the zero. We always gotta go back to the two and the zero. We got two and a half in Pajama Sam, uh, so we still have our twelve gate from Enemy Zero. We have we have so many things, but we have uh, two zero is a really hard formula to understand because you, you you put it backwards o oh, two. You put like zero twenty, so you got two two of your circles. You know, number two, two zeros, so it's like two two again. You know, it's like it's always a two. That's two two. And that's what that's a good one right there, isn't that two two? Because to many people, 
uh, just to many people that would play like a video game, they would never ever think they'd be talking about two two. You know, they would never be thinking they'd be talking about numerology of two two or any of that. Just 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 any bit of that, they'd be like, "There's no way," you know. <laughs> But without shoes, right? Without hat. We're talking about some creepy stuff, man. Really creepy stuff. Uh, Mario 64, just, 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 just awesome, dude. Um, Pajama Sam is hilarious, too, because, like, oh, Pajama Sam just loves to, like, flat out say stuff. It just likes to flat out say something and then say another thing. I haven't broken down even sprinkle, but you know, sprinkles, because sprink- sprinkles are tiny little things. They're really tiny microscopic things. Sprinkles. Um, but yeah, like like the, the just the picnic cloth being more important than the picture in the background of the cake, okay? Because the cake's stupid picture is not even important. When we um, actually look at what we need to look at, which is the picnic cloth, uh, that, the picnic cloth just beats it. The shadow beats it. Oh, and by the way, yeah, you ready? Because repetition, right? Oh, gosh, it's only creepy when we have repetition, right? Um, <laughs> yeah, that's the only way it's creepy. It's just like it just has to have more creepiness, right? Well, this shadow, this shadow um, of all shadows, and you know, come on, you gotta, you gotta think clearly, right? Ico has a bunch of shadows. What's the introduction of the, the, the shadow thing? Um, but uh, kind of like, kind of like blatantly talking just about shadows and everything. So um, the shape, okay, the shape of a shadow, okay, right? So let me see here. Okay, so, so this line design right here is another example of L. Because L can do many things. Okay, so um, here's a shadow, right? Here's a shadow. Here's a line. There's the point. You know what I'm getting at if I've told you point, if you've listened to the other videos. But, hey, if you haven't, here here you go. Here's a little ketchup. You know, ketchup, ketchup, ketchup. Uh, um, <laughs> shadow of Colossus, one of its spoiler secrets, right? Because we know there's a spoiler secret in Shadow of Colossus. Oh my gosh, spoiler secret in Shadow of Colossus. Of course there is. Uh, of course Shadow of Colossus can say it's its own thing too. Because they have ways that I was telling you that they could say it's its own thing, right? Um, they have the pictures, they have everything. But that's the thing too. Uh, what is Mario 64's creepy cake picture? It's creepy cake picture. It's a picture. What is all the unused content in Shadow of Colossus? It's pictures. You know what I'm saying? So it's like all these pictures. But like the actual thing that we found in the game of Shadow of Colossus, the 3D model that we found in Shadow of Colossus. Funny how it's shadow, right? Because of course it has to be. Of course it has to be because we're, we're clueless, dude. We really are. We're clueless. It's it's shadow. You know what I mean? Like shadow. Like we have shadow the hedgehog. We're we're, we're just clueless, dude. They're they're like here is shadow. Don't ever think I'm not thinking about the Sonic thing too, because I am thinking about the Sonic thing. But Pajama Sam just destroys the Sonic CD stuff. I don't know how, but it just does. Like the Sonic CD stuff is like it, Sonic CD stuff is good, but Pajama Sam. Oh man, Pajama Sam way ahead of Sonic, but like Sonic Sonic CD is um uh because <laughs> because we always gotta talk about Sonic if we're talking about Shadow the Hedgehog, you know what I mean? If if we're talking about Shadow the Hedgehog, we have to talk about Sonic the Hedgehog, okay? And it doesn't help that he's a PC game with Pajama Sam kind of thing, because that's the way that Sonic CD, you know, starts out. Um, <laughs> look how, dude, dude, this is so confusing. Like, I'm even, like, lost. I'm like, okay, so, so where is the other thing? Okay, so, so it doesn't help that the, 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 the T handle, oh my gosh, the T handle is so many things. But when you're drawing the T handle yourself, or if you're drawing it, um, um, you know, because my T handle looks a little different from the picture, okay. 
not, we're not even talking about the tea handle. What are we talking? We're talking about the tea dispenser that the dispenser is dispensing out the liquid. Okay. Um. You know, the object doesn't even have, like, the points, but, you know, the shadow has the points. Of course, the shadow has the points. Um, and, you know, like, this little in detail of this shadow that's, like, the line between um, definitely could be the point in Shadow of Colossus. Because in Shadow of Colossus, the spoiler that I revealed, there was a point to the head. There was, like, a point animation to the head. So this definitely could be because it's a divider. Yeah, the Mario 64 little cake picture because it's the wrong ending. It's the wrong ending. So since it's the wrong ending, it's it's making fun of you. But you're already being made fun of with Shadow Colossus. You're already being made fun of with Zelda Skyward Sword. Uh, you're already being made fun of with Star Fox Zero. Um, which they're just a category of a bunch of good games, aren't they? Star Fox Zero, Resident Evil Zero. Um uh, Resident Evil Zero is on every platform too, so it's on every like platform. Uh, Star Fox Zero. Uh, there's always a way for you to go back to Nintendo somehow. Um, Skyward Sword. Skyward Sword is. Oh my gosh, dude! Skyward Sword. Wow. Skyward Sword. Um, <laughs> and uh, there's some things we get to talk about with Majora's Mask. There is. There's some things we get to talk about with Majora's Mask. There's some things we get to talk about with Ocarina of Time. Uh, all in good time with those. Uh, Wind Waker. Wind Waker is a funny one. I really like the Wind Waker one. I really do. The Wind Waker one's good. Um, the, the, the Wind Waker one is is cruel. It's very cruel because uh, Wind Waker... Oh my gosh, dude. <laughs> Wind Waker did so many things right. It did. It did a lot of things right. And um, uh, Wind Waker, I guess, is to make uh, something creepy that shouldn't be creepy. That, that that's what Wind Waker is doing. Wind Waker is all the Wind Waker is making something that's making something creepy, but it has no business being creepy. You know, it has no business being creepy, but it, uh, it is. It's actually creepy, and. Um, <laughs> we got uh we got even dude we dude we got so much it's nuts we got like hi, uh dynasty warriors being replaced by zelda you know like because we had the the zelda dynasty warrior games that like replaced dynasty warriors all together and had just a bunch of zelda characters you could play as right we have um we just have a lot a lot a lot a lot a lot of detail <laughs> uh the drawing of like okay so so the teacup handle is is such crazy drawing dude like like if there's any good drawing design um even the thing down below that i showed that's that's a good one too but uh like the the handle the teapot um uh because the hand the handle to the deep teapot we got two different kinds of images of the teapot handle also because you know like we got it like turned around and it looks creepy it looks creepy and different from this teapot being turned around and the hoop of the handle is like it looks like a crappy it looks so crappy but it's beautiful it's it, it's beautiful but like it has like that crappy drawing feel for for the picture uh, for this cake picture because it just has it has that that abstract um you know that liminal liminal space um definitely liminal space liminal space of like a little um tiny handle crammed so it has that that it doesn't look like it's drawn right but it also looks like if because you're a human and you could easily draw a handle like that so that's like a scribble kind of handled it, it goes back to the stick figure it does it definitely goes back to the stick figure because the stick figure is such a, like such a simple thing in that little mario 64 pyramid level um it's it, it's it's such a simple thing to put a little stick figure you know um we got another scribble we got a ton of scribbles for all i know like I, like i was telling you the secret show of colossus on his head his point it had like the scribble crazy things have these scribble things and i have a better breakdown with that but um 
Yeah, Mario 64, man. Whoa! 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 You know, like, whoa! <laughs> oh, Enemy Zero is pretty crazy. Was it that breakdown of Enemy Zero? That was pretty crazy. So, like, like, but, like, for Mario 64, whoa! Oh, man. Oh, man, man, man. Uh, and repetition is in Skyward Sword, okay? So so I guess Skyward Sword's uh, repetition parts, like the, the parts that are repetition, um, I, I guess all those parts were very good hints. Um, uh, but if you're like if, – if you're a person that's still trying to learn things, you know, if you're trying to learn things or if you're not ahead of the game like I am or if you're not like – if you're not like – not not thinking about something else when you're needing to think about something else, just something like a cloth table, you know, like a cloth on the table, right? Um, cause cause even if you get to the point of a cloth on a table, okay, you're not really gonna like until you've seen the secret, right? Until you've seen the secret, you're not really gonna get what the cloth on the table is actually saying. Now, um, yeah, it's kind of, it is so mean to think about that background picture. It really is that that picture in the background. Um, there's some things to the, the picture in the background, but not really, not really at all. Nope, nothing. Uh, yeah, it's it's basically almost like nothing. It is. It, it's almost like nothing, but it's a good picture. Oh sure, it's a good picture. Um, good picture because you're at the bad ending. <laughs> Yeah, because it's a bad ending, so you get the bad picture. I mean, I guess that's what the point is of that picture. The point of that picture is you get the picture, but it's not what you want. Um, <laughs> you definitely don't want it, and that's uh, so okay. So uh, this connection thing, um, the because the, the cage already shows you the overlapping. Okay, uh, the cage is in many different areas of Mario sixty four. Uh, like um. You know, like like just a simple one is like um, you'll see it like you'll see even when you're climbing. Um, there's there's different parts like it's a repetitive thing in Mario 64. So so you'll definitely see this cage thing. It's repetitive. Um, you'll see the overlapping of the bars. Um, surprisingly, we have something hiding in this picture. Yeah, we have a puzzle in this picture that I'm not even talking about right now because that's more towards later videos. Um, but yeah, yeah. Overlapping of bars. Pay attention to what I'm saying. Okay. Overlapping of bars. Um, cause we have specific details of bars overlapping, not connecting. Right. So the bars are overlapping. They're not connecting, which looks once again, like liminal space looks creepy, looks scary, looks, looks all kinds of things. Right. Okay. So, so that's what the bars are doing. Right. Um, Dude, I can't with Picnic either because Picnic has a lot of advanced letters in it. So apparently I'm trying to study what I is about. I, I, I is because, uh, you know, I can change itself into two different things, of course, which, you know, capital I and then you got regular I, um, uh, lowercase I. Uh, there's a... Uh, Dude, cloth cloth does not even make anything is easier too. You know, tablecloths really do not make anything easier because um, we get back to H, uh, and I showed you how how possible H is through Enemy Zero. How how we get to H, so H H is very advanced. I already know what H is about, and man, H is. H is a very good Mario thing. It's a very good Mario thing, but it's also a very good Shadow of Colossus thing. It's a it's a good thing in general, but like like a, a, H, so many things you could do with H. Um, different ways you can write H. Okay, so uh, you could even I mean, couldn't you really make an H like with a V in it? Sure, you could do that. Um, you know, we flip H upside down. Of course, we got our Y. You know, we got our we got our Q that we can make a, an incomplete Q, a Q that's halved. You know. Probably explaining everything behind Quest 64, and because um, Quest 64, we haven't introduced Quest 64 yet because Quest 64 has something blatant that we need to talk about, but 
only Mario 64 is going to be able to describe it, like flat out describe it, because it's, it's just Mario 64 is going to make it easy, very easy.